Okay, this video is going to go over number one from the uh, 2015 Calc A, B, N, B, C exams. Um, and it's kind of a typical rate in, rate out problem, so it uh, shouldn't be too much difficulty. Uh, so in part A, we're told that um, in the problem we're told uh, R of T is the rate in. Um, so that's your rate in. What you want to do is define that on your calculator. Um, so just totally store it. So now anytime you need a value from R, you just do R of whatever, um, which is a good deal. Um, and question A is how many cubic feet of rainwater flow into the pipe during the eight hour time interval? Um, so if I take the rate in and I integrate that, so I'm going to integrate from 0 to 8, R of T dt, um, that should give me the total amount in, and that's what the question is asking for. So I punch that into my calculator, I round it to three decimal places. I hate when that last decimal is a zero, but I was right it anyway. Um, and then I put units on it, so cubic feet. And uh, that's part A. Uh, the next part is uh, part B is asking if uh, the amount of water in the pipe is increasing or decreasing at time t equals three hours, and then I have to give a reason. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, I want to get uh, the rate out into my calculator. So d of t, uh, which is given in the problem, is uh, right there. I'm going to define that on my calculator, and that is my rate out. So uh, the total overall rate of change is going to be the rate in minus the rate out. So that's going to be R of T minus D of T. And I need to know what the value of that is at T equals 3. So I use my calculator to do R of 3 minus D of 3, which uh, gives me negative 0.314. Um, and that's in cubic feet per hour. Um, but the key thing really, is that since R of 3 minus D of 3 is less than 0, um, the total amount will be uh, decreasing because the total rate of change is negative. So the amount of water is decreasing. Uh, and that's part B. Uh, the next part is asking us for a uh, the minimum amount of water that's in this, uh, what is this, drain pipe. So we want the minimum amount of water that's in the drain pipe. Sounds like a candidate's test problem to me. Um, so first, what I'm going to do is define a function that tells me the total amount. And it's an accumulation function, so it's the amount that I start with, plus the integral from 0 to t of rate in minus rate out. Uh, you'll notice I named that function w of t. That's going to cause me a problem in the next part, but we're not on the next part, so it doesn't really matter yet. Uh, so I need to find the derivative of that. So, uh, oh, well, that's the water in the pipe at time t, uh, where t is between 0 and 8. Now I need to find the derivative of that, so that's the uh, second fundamental theorem, uh, but we also already know that w prime of t is r of t minus d of t, so rate in minus rate out makes sense. I need to find the critical point, so w prime of t equals zero. Uh, my calculator uh, tells me that that happens at t equals zero and at t equals uh, that value right there. So I did that by graphing and uh, finding the zeros, I, I graphed r of x minus d of x and found the zeros between 0 and 8. Um, and then I'm going to store b uh, using the calculator so that I can just plug in. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my table. So I have t, I have w of t, I need to test 0, b, and 8. Remember I stored that critical point as b. and um, so I get these values by having my calculator actually evaluate the definite integrals. Um, it's just a lot of button pressing. Now I just need to write up my solution. So I'm going to say by candidate's test, um, the minimum amount has to occur at um, either an endpoint, and I know the endpoints are 0 and 8, um, or at a critical point, and I solved for the critical point, which was that value, which I stored as b. Um, looking at the table of values that I got, I know that um, the water is at a minimum at t equals 3.272 hours. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So uh, the next part, I'm going to get in trouble because I named my function w of t. So I'm just going to rename the function and write it down. So um, I renamed the function a of t. Uh, 30 plus the integral from 0 to t of rate in minus rate out. 
And uh, the problem is telling me that the pipe will overflow if there are 50 cubic feet. Well, I mean, it, it holds 50 cubic feet. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to uh, say that the pipe overflows for some w satisfying a of w equals 50. Um, and I'm pretty sure that actually solves the problem. Like, I, I know from the previous part that there, uh, uh, yeah, no, I think that's it, yeah. So, that's my, uh, solution. That part just, uh, wasn't as tough as I was expecting it to be. So, I hope you found this helpful, and, uh, good luck.